in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving and merciful Father, we are grateful for all that you have done to us. We come to you this morning giving thanks for all that you have done to us. And we ask you to be in our midst as we start the reflection of giving thanks to you. As we ask you to guide us in our life. And as we invite you in our midst. And above all, as we bring all those who have asked us to pray for them. That Lord, you may strengthen them. You may answer their prayers. And as the whole world, Lord, as we cry for your hearing. That we may find a vaccine to fight this threatening pandemic. That Lord, your people may be saved as we keep praising and worshipping you. We make this prayer true, Christ, our Lord. Amen. In our Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Good morning once again. Good morning. Turn to your neighbor and ask, did you sleep well? Did you sleep well? <laughs> Whose night was short like mine? You know, I tried to, to really sleep, but uh, I just found it this morning. Normally, I don't sleep like that on a new bed. But today... Oh, last night, things were different. It's because I think and I want to believe we have the grace of God in our midst. Basi, katika tafakari, hii ya siku tatu, vila tulivyo anza chana kumtolea mungu shukurani kwa yara ambaya meyafanya, tungependa kuendelea kuangazia yare mambo makuu, tutakawe ya fanya na njia gani tutakayo yafanya la kwanza tukawa tumeangazia namna gani tutakayo mtolea Mungu shukurani tukasema nini chana why do we need to give thanks tulipata hiyo na ulipata ni sababu gani ya pili nani anakumbuka chenye tulisema Eti? No, that is the third question. Question two, it was what? How ca can I be the light in the darkness? Sasa, na ya tatu? Ni nani? Alie ingia katika maisha yangu na napaswa kutoa shukurani kwa? Na mwisho? Who came to my life to give me an opportunity to serve them. Now, today, I want to take this. As we know, what elevates our spiritual growth is fasting. I always talk about fasting because in one way or the other, we do fast. True or false? Now, fasting in one way accelerates our growth. Because we get an opportunity to deny ourselves something for the growth of our spiritual life. And sometimes, especially during this COVID, many of us fasted. What did you fast for? Not to die. How many of us fasted to be ready in any case? You are cold. I know. Uh, did you see some part of the world, people throwing away money, things? What was that? Was it fasting? It's a sign of what? Giving up. Or, or desperation. Now, me and you, when we choose to fast, it's because we want to build our spiritual life. Now, study has shown that people fast for different reasons. Michael Pill, a senior medical researcher, realized that people will fast because of spiritual inclination, 
some will fast because of curiosity yeah and some will fast because of political score whom do you know has fasted because of political gain who Steve Pickle? Uh -huh. Somebody else? Thank you. Someone else? Have you ever heard of prisoners fasting? Why? They refuse to eat, yet they are in prison. In fact, that's why you need to ask, what we do as Christians, other people are doing it. But what is the end result? One monk tried to fast. And at least, when he tried, he wanted to hit 40 days. So what was he at the back of his mind? Like Jesus. And what do you think that made Jesus to fast for 40 days? One thing I know, he just didn't fast because he wanted to entertain himself. He fasted to show you and me that sometimes we can withdraw from our comfort. Sometimes we can let go things for the sake of connection with our God. Now, that's why I want, from the word go, I want to tell you, if today you want to give thanks for anything you have done in the past, if you didn't do it for the sake of the connection with God, you need to think twice. Okay? So, don't go and say you don't eat this, like some of us. Personally, I don't eat red meat. I don't eat some spices. I eat very little. So, when I do that, am I fasting? I know, maybe when it may come to food, it may not give me a great impact in terms of what? Fasting to connect myself to God. But what if one day I decide to just let go, like especially when I go for retreat, I try to disconnect from the social media. I tried to be there for myself. People start asking, Father, are you okay? But I will answer after eight days. What kind of fasting is that? Withdrawing. Christ went to the desert. True or false? How many people followed him to the desert? In this new book, I've said, I've never seen anyone who, who celebrates something for 40 days. I have never. But Christ celebrated his baptism for 40 days. What was he baptized to? Huh? Was baptism necessary for Christ? It was necessary for who? And when we are baptized, what happens? We die and resurrect. We die to what? To our sinfulness. So that we resurrect with what? The new life. The godliness. Connection with our being. Sorry, with our Creator, so that we may become even connected to ourselves. Did you hear? I think one of the intercessions this morning. What did we say? That God may help us be connected with what? So we fast for us to be connected to our Creator and to our being. Just if you didn't know what we said, I think it was the third or fourth that we may be conscious about our being. You can go and, uh, after this and check it out. L look at this. Uh, it is possible, as Christians, live a life of disconnectedness. And especially when trouble comes, we get 
lost. Let me tell you, for long we have believed that those who are in town set up supports those who are in the V. This year it was otherwise. You send food from the village. Kuku mulituma. Marenge na nini. To support you. There are some people who have left the town set up and they will never go back again. True or false? So what have they seen in the village they didn't see before? How many people left big chunk of land in their village to go to look for green pastures in the town set up? And when things were difficult, they are going back to that which they despised. In other words, when we find ourselves in trap, in darkness, in despair, there is something that is happening. Kuna kitu mungu anatifundisha ambacho tunapaswa kufungua machi yetu tukione. And that's why I want to tell you this. The parable of a rich fool. Where does it found? A gospel. Which gospel? <laughs> Luke chapter 12, 13 to 21. You can do that when you are free. But in a summary, what happened? This man prayed to God that he, the work of his son to be blessed. He went to the field he planted. I, I want to believe, as many of us do, how many of us bring seedlings to the church to be blessed? You don't, but some people do. Now, when they are blessed, what do you expect? Especially, by the way, in the Western, I've seen that. It's very common. And that's why when now they harvest, they have to come back to the church. But it happens when this rich fool prayed for blessings of the work of his hand, he was yearning, he was looking upward, he was trusting God would answer him. But what happened later on? What happened is God granted his heart's desire. God is always generous. He had a lot of produce. There, he got confused. He saw what was in the farm and he realized one thing. He has no enough space. He has no? What did he say he would do? He sat and he reflected what am I going to do? And he said to himself, I know. Imagine, he's saying to himself, I know. I ask somebody next to you, how much do you know? <laughs> how often have you told yourself that you know? And what do you know? He thought of going to demolish the pans or the stores to build new ones. So that he can keep save his harvest. The question is, when he was praying, he was connected with God. Now that he has received, is it disconnected with it? And it's connected with what? No, with the material things. He, now, he's considering material things to be more important than anything else. Me and you, we find ourselves. How many of us? March, May, every day we were on our knees. You would follow the mass from the beginning to the end on the TV. But today you go to mass, you start snoring. Ah, gamma, gali kwa murima. You will forget 
That time we prayed until our knees were black. You can even see. But today, even putting your knees down, instead you would be having your legs on the doof. You forget even to go to church. So, look at that. That kind of transition from darkness to that moment of light. What might have in this year hindered you from appreciating what you have received from God and make use of it for the glory of God? For the glory of God. Was there a gap? Has there been a gap in your life? That at one time, you know, you really get devoted, even as a camera. You know, some of us, we are only devoted to come to retreat. But for monthly meetings, do you know what? These three days cannot make you a camera. Write that in your notes. The three days in tap wheel doesn't make one a camera. In fact, uh, when was it? Around the 29th of October, I went to visit Chenario in Mombasa. I went to his parish priest. I tried to talk to him to allow Chenarios to start a group there. You can be sick. How many people, like those who work in hospitals, they were there. They tried to save lives. But what makes me and you, when we are in need, when we want something, we can, you know, insist on it. But when it comes to communal living, when it comes to sharing, when it comes to the moment I need to be the light to the other, maybe I put it like this, you may be crying for something or for some help. You get a good friend from somewhere, they surprise you. But immediately you get whatever you want, you get somebody asking even 5% of what you have received. How do you feel? There, in your mind, you say, even me, Siniriomba. But what if whatever you have received, God wants you to share it? How many of us are generous? One to ten. Which number can you give yourself in terms of generosity? Write in your book. Gives yourself a number. One up to ten. Pick a number. Signifying your level of generosity. If you are below five, you need to go to your knees. By the way, did you realize this? Spiritual growth is personal. We can gather here. We can do things together. You can attend mass every day. You can have how many years of profession as a comrade. Unless you are committed on a personal level, there is no breakthrough. Like, the Camerite family cannot grow if you have not come in to give your contribution. Maybe your contribution is not equal to Amos. He has been given more and more will be demanded. But what we will be demanded of you at least is to get connected to the next person and keep growing. We need to take the responsibility whether it's in darkness or at least when we cannot do it, one thing you need to do, ask for help both from your neighbors and from who? From God. 
Then when we have received the help, let us not forget those who are around us. We should be the first one to turn to our neighbors. You know, by the way, some people, we think that if God has elevated me to be where I am now, we think that we remain there forever. But let me tell you, you are where you are because you have not tried to uplift somebody else. How many of us have tried to help somebody and they have seen themselves growing? Does that make sense? Unapata kuna mtu kwa njia moja kama ni familia yake ilikuwa na shida. You try to churn with them. Slowly you even get new insights how to deal with issues in your, your family. Even the church, people are trying to do something. They are not able to do it. What happens? When you try to help them to do it, macho inafungu. Lakini angalia wakati umekaa kwako kuna corona. Lakini kwa pangi utaenda. Biashara utaenda. Sherehe utaenda. Ikifika kanisa. Ikifika mandri meeting. Auko. What's the difference with the, the rich fool? By the way, ask this question. This is a nice one. How many times have you been a rich fool? I know you have not been all true. Marangapi? Umeishi kama nani? How many times have we behaved like? You know, I don't know. I don't know. And that's where the challenge is, by the way. And this challenge, I remember one thing. One day, I went to visit. I think it was the uh, beginning of 2020. So, one of uh, my priest friend gave me a call. That, Father, I need your help. As it is my weakness, I went to his parish. Always I would want to go a day before. On a Saturday evening, I arrived there. So in this Saturday evening, we have sat with him. Now we are planning for Sunday. We were two of us, and uh, there were several masses in the uh, parish. So, you know, that kind of always having preference. I already told him, hey, you know what, Father? I can only take this number of masses. As I thought to say that to him, something struck my mind. You were ordained to serve them. I was ordained to do what? Who? I wanted to prefer, you know, Usingisia has been in terms, and I don't know, especially on Sunday. Or especially when you have some duties to attend to. And especially when there are church activities. How many of us, you will, during weekdays, you will wake up to go to business at 5.30, but on Sunday, ukicharipu sana, unaenda misa ya satano. If the race, na utachelewa. Sababu gani? What compels you to wake up during your personal search and what delays us during our spiritual search? Marangapi umecharewa misa, tangu tuanze kurudi misa. Marangapi utapigiwa simu, misa ikiendelea utoke uendange, usisikumbuke. How much do we give reverence? So when this happened with my friend, we organized mass, we finished. Before we slept again, he comes and says, Father, the program has changed. What? I was like, Wow. So I'm going to have less masses. To my surprise, what happened? More masses were added. And not towards the afternoon. It first mass was at five in the morning in our school. 
in a village I have never been. I'm alone. So I have to leave the parish 5, 4.30. And what did I use to reach there? No, please. <laughs> now, now I have made Indonesia sana. At least I had a car I was to drive. No one, you could not wake up somebody at that time. I used GPS. I googled the school. Five in the morning, driving into the dark. It's a rough road. I went there. Reaching there, there are no lights. And what are you using to say, Mass? With over 500 students seated under the trees with a torch. Because the next mass was to follow at 6.30. After 6.30, there was mass at 8. And not in the same place. You finish this one, you drive. When I finished four masses, I said, God, why did you call me to become a priest? I realized that I wasn't able to respond to yes because of my own willingness. Because he wanted me to serve as a priest. Sometimes when we don't expect things to happen, they happen in a manner that challenges us. Let me tell you, the more you embrace challenges in your life, the better you become. Tell your neighbor that. If you are somebody who welcomes challenges, if you are somebody who is open, because remember this, how many of us think that our mothers cook the best? Obviously, at the rawa kina mama, Hata wewe wakati ulikuwa mdogo kama ulikuwa unafikia mamaka ndio alikuwa anapika vizuri you were missing something what were you missing eh exposure ujatembea na kutembea ni kufanya nini na lakini ukiona mengi au basi kufanya <laughs> you know this is where we, when you tell people to focus in life Focus doesn't mean you see everything and you do everything. It's when you can see everything that is happening, but you choose what to do because you know why you need to do it. So, did you answer the question? How many times have you behaved like the rich fool? Make sure you get that. There is a possibility. I didn't say even like now. We cannot get from here and we behave like who? Something else. The parable of Rasros and the rich man. And I don't despise anyone who, who, who may be in the level of richness. I don't say that you should not go for richness. Where is that story found? Look. Look. 16, 19 to 31. Okay? When you do that, you will try to realize one thing. Rastras was eating what was falling from the rich man's table. And the dogs were doing what? His souls. He was not only poor, but he had goons. And there's this rich man. He was dining the way, you know, the culture of that time in purple. And what do we use purple now? How come we made that choice? And what, the question we need to ask here, what primes me from recognizing the needs of those who are around us. Of those who are around us. We need to remain conscious. There's this phrase I normally use, and it's really powerful to me, when you talk about desire and satisfaction. What's the difference? Desire. 
And why would you not wish to be satisfied? Thank you. You got it right, Scholastica. When we keep a constant desire of something, we are awakened. We remain alert. We remain anxious. But when we get satisfied, we close our legs and arms and we develop a don't care attitude. You know, you can reach there when you have said, at last all powerful. Do you know when we are, why do we say that, Sam? Why? In any case, tradition is, in any case we die during the night, we go in peace. But some of us, I think when we sleep, we sleep in pieces. So in any case we die, what will happen? We will be in pieces. Have you ever tried to look for peace in your life now you don't get it? What's happened? Why do you find yourself, like, whether it's in a group of people, whether it's even here, you don't. Let me tell you, again, this happened, I was also visiting another parish. This time it was also in Western. So, it was during supper. And uh, when I looked around, the table was full set. And I was like, Father, are you expecting some visitors? He said, no. Always, this table is set to capacity. Why? Because there is plenty. When you get yourself disconnected, what you realize is you don't have space for others. But for this priest, made it a tradition at all times to have his dining table set to capacity because it's in a town setup. And you know what he said? I would not wish to have anyone step into the house and lack something. Trust me. Food will be cooked. Better to go to the fridge. But no guest should come even in the middle of the night and lack something. And how many of us when we have, like when you are cooking, you must lock all the doors. And if somebody knocks at that time, what do you do? By the way, can you measure your generosity when it comes to the food? How many of us, you will just cook your favorite. When it is done, you hear a knock, your heart. This priest challenged me that we don't need to wait for the guests to prepare for them. In life, you don't need to get everything for you to start helping. When it comes to spiritual growth, you don't need to be like Father Dennis to start doing something. Do you know what? You will grow from where you are. Whatever you will engage doing every day, every moment, will make you a standout tomorrow. The young saint we had, Carlos Acutus, what did he do? When he had love for the Eucharist, he started the devotion, seeking to get all the miracles of the Eucharist, and he kept spreading that message. How many of us are comrades, but where we live, nobody knows whether we are comrades? And if they know, they have refused to join us because of our behavior. Have you ever seen a signpost? What is it meant for? To give direction. Now, take that signpost, turn it. What will happen when people come? 
How many of us have become that perverted signpost? Did you get what I am saying? Yes. That we are even Catholics. You know, when even you have put the kitamba on your head, third order Camerites, you are in brown. You look like a, a religious nun or sister. But when people listen to what you talk, when people try to interact with you, they say, I better stay in my home if that is what the cameras do what? How many of us also have lived in a manner people have looked at us and have admired? Now we are more to the group because of our way of life. The way we carry ourselves, the way we interact with others, the way we serve others. Like the way I told you yesterday, the new magazine that we have done, the first thing, even before people ask the content, what do they ask? Who is your designer? Look at that. I would have had all that information. But if somebody didn't become creative to arrange it, to pack it, it wasn't to make sense or it couldn't attract the eye. Now ask your neighbor, who is your designer of your life? Who designs your life? What do you wake up to do? How do you do it? Who is in your company? Do you know some of us, we, we get into the company of very funny people. Yani watu ambao tunatembea na wao, as the saying goes, show me your friends. How many of you could show you, me your friends and I will say, uh, I think I will distance from you. And how many of us, we jeopardize our fate because of friends. Like the other day I was talking with the young people that when it reaches Friday, they pray and sup. Because of what? Parties are coming. They will disappear from home. They will go out of their homes using the front door. But they will come back. At what time? If they, are, if they manage 2 a.m., but if they don't manage, they will come the following day. And maybe they will come barefooted, half naked. They don't want anyone to see them. If you found such a child, what would you do to them? Did you hear is Mdoto Muleavio? Sasa shida iko kwa nani? How, as parents, how much have we done to help our children grow? And how much are we doing to send our children away? Let me tell you, we are not going to save those children by always shouting at them. We are not. But we are going to save them by becoming compassionate. By listening to them. By giving them opportunity to express their anxieties, their disconnectedness. That is when we will help them. Kama tutawaangalia na macho ya inakaa kama nini? Nacho kuna watu ingine tunaangalia tunaona dhambi za watu. Yani unaona uyu held straight and you do nothing. You think you will go to heaven? If you see somebody is a candidate of hell, you are also a candidate of hell because eh? parts of the same fetus. Yeah. But if you see somebody and you cry for them, you help them, even if it means to die for their salvation. Could you be rewarded? 
How many of us are ready to die in giving those around us the best? As we give thanks to God. Remember I said, how many of us recognize the people who have come to our life and given us opportunity to serve them? Like now these two priests have shared. One wanted something from me. And I was like trying to be mean until I opened up my eyes. But when I went, it surpassed my expectation. He not only prepared for my need, but even to people he didn't know when they are going to knock. Unfortunately, many of us we already put a barrier. Who is going to come to my comfort zone? Especially through uh, this time of COVID. How do you welcome people in your house? Sanitizer. Kuna maali ni meenda siku moja. Tumekua sanitized twice. Paka nikasema woye. Si mikono ita... What do we believe in? Yes, I didn't despise sanitizing our hands. But do you know you can treat me when I come to your house and I will never wish to come back? Sincerely. Nimenawa mikono. Tena unani sanitize. Nikama kuni pulisia nini? Really? If I sleep in your house, you will soak those paddings for one month. Even when we know the virus can survive for how many days? At least 14, time for. How many of us have made people feel bad because of the... Like now, if today you found one of us has contracted this virus, what would you do? Would answer Muguni Pony? How many of us? Because it is a reality. This is something we need to. But we have been given precautions. And how many of us have taken care of ourselves so much? And maybe when we least expect, we are just powered down. So what we focus on? Is it fear or is it hope? What's the difference between fear and hope? Hope gives us freedom to dive into darkness. Hope gives us the opportunity to walk into darkness and come out of it strong. But fear makes us frightened. We tremble. If we survive, even if you run away, in the course of running away, you collapse. You collapse. Do you know, you want when they hear about bad news, they die and they leave the patient. Let me tell you one thing. Life is not all about material things. By the way, you become peaceful when you accept that there are two things. You are alive today. The only biggest challenge you expect is to be called home. End time. When you are ready for that, you become peaceful. You even start preparing. You start impacting people in a manner. Look at what St. Teresa did. She was asked to write something about herself. She wrote small pieces that were combined later that made her to become the doctor of the church. I want you to, to think of this. Now that we know death can come when we least expect, look at this. In the beginning of this book, the introduction, I talk about E of Dabo Dabo, Mbao Mbao. Then I need to go to Naimba. But 
I said it was a year for double sacrifice. There is no one who can sacrifice and get it wrong. There is no moment you will ever let go, give up everything else, but never give up looking at him. Unaweza kachanganyikiwa upate mambo mengi unapigwa upande huu na huu but as far as you look at him you will never get it wrong you will never today i want to challenge you are you ready for the challenge get an entry into your balance sheet of small actions done out of love I want you to start accounting. Even right now, small things you are going to do to express love. The love of God and the love of neighbor. neighbor. And remember this, you will never love your neighbor if you don't love yourself. How do you how much do you love yourself? Are you are you somebody who loves yourself so much until you build If you were given, you build a metallic safety zone. How many of us have safes in the home? If you have it, we are not going to come for your money. It's okay. We know you have it. How, how is the safe made? That even if the house is burned, it cannot burn. Now, how many of us stay in their safe? You are uh, yesterday I used the expression Kama kuku iko na nini? Vifaranga. When you see people coming near you. Let me tell you this. Wacha nikuombe wengine maybe tumepata hii corona na tumepona na tunaendelea. Wewe unaenda kaa kwako usema kuna corona. You will not even go to see a neighbor do you believe in the miracles yes. do you believe in the grace of god yes. again look you know there's something i don't know and i don't want to charge when you fear suffering you will never grow you will never grow but when you embrace suffering you will grow it doesn't mean you will not feel the pain Uchungu wa mwana uchwae ni nani? Look at that. We pond more in painful moment than when in celebration. If you want to test your friends, look at the friends you have during celebrations. Go and set a party and invite people. Hautapata mahali watadoshia. But kuwa na shida kwa na shida see how many even would especially this period akikumbuka kupigia simu you are lucky atakuja sema oh i'm sorry i didn't know really but yakiona party umepost kuna party anauliza ni saa ngapi What kind of life are we living? Do we live a life of self-centeredness or do we live a life of self-giving? Are we leaders who build castles and stores for ourselves or are we leaders letting go everything ready to serve others? I think that's enough for now. Think of it. You know have a meeting with yourself. Where do you think you have behaved like who? The rich fool. And when are you behaved like the rich man? And what do you think we need to do? At least to realize we can be fools. If we don't take care, we can be what? And it takes a wise person to lead who? a fool are you going to be the wise person 
Look at your neighbor and say, ask this, are you going to be the wise person? And who are you going to lead? I want to be wise to lead my life first before I lead anyone. I want to live a life that is exemplary. I want to live what I believe for me to achieve what I wish. Secondly, how much do you have that has made you disconnected from what you honestly need? What have you put around you? You know, you can, it may not necessarily be material things, but you can have even some friends. How many of us have bodyguards in our lives? People who can keep everyone else away. People who have eyes that discriminate. Najoku na macho yungine ita kuangalia tu hivi, ata wakati ulikuwa na shida, kusiwa yomba. Epu angalia chirani yako, angalia macho yake na kana mna kana. Ni macho yako tayari kusaidia ama ni macho ya kukufukuza uende. We need to change. And that's why I want to invite you now to do that spiritual exercise as we give thanks to God. That we become conscious why we need to give thanks to God. That we become conscious we need to be the wise people or men and women of light. That we may be grateful for those people who have helped us to become who we are today. And that we may be grateful for the people who have given us opportunity to serve them. If we do that, we will become better witnesses in small things that will time will bring greatness. Thank you so much. Unless the question, we will take a break. <laughs>